Welcome back to Glory on Your Digital. Here you are taught how to digitally promote your business and increase your sales worldwide by over 1000% right from your comfort zone. And even if you have not touched a computer before. So in this channel, we release digital marketing videos every day. So all you just need to do is subscribe to this channel and click on the notification icon so that each day a new video is released you always be the first to get notified and if you are stumbling on this video on the web from anywhere on the web try to follow up this video from the very first video because this video is among uh, is on the playlist this actually this is actually a follow-up video actually okay this is a follow-up video for the previous video so to watch the previous videos before this just follow this uh, video this video is on a playlist on youtube so watch the very the first videos okay from the very first video to this present one so that you understand what we are doing and you know where we are okay um so in, now today's uh, video we're going to be looking at creating a paste stack by button so yesterday we looked at creating paper by button so today we're going to be looking at how to integrate paste stack by button so follow up with me as we look at paste stack by button together welcome back to digital marketing made easy still on session one which is website design and now we're going to be looking at how to create a paste stack by button. In our previous video, we looked at how to create a paper by button. But now we're going to be looking at paste stack. Okay, there are two different payment gateway. Now, if you don't have a paste stack account, just come to the website, which is pastack.com. Just create an account. It's quite easy. And from there, you see the, the, the next step by step process you should follow. They haven't created your account, you just come to your dashboard like this. You have your dashboard like this. And creating a buy button for Paystack is very simple. So once you're on your dashboard like this, just come to this place, payment pages, click on payment pages. And then click on new page. Is it going to be a one-time payment or is it going to be a subscription? All right. So... If it's going to be a one-time payment, maybe for instance, like the ebook we illustrated with on our previous uh, pay stack, I mean paper payment button video illustration. So in that case, it's, it's going to be a one-time payment. Just select this option. It's going to be a subscription monthly or weekly or yearly. You select this option. So in this case, I'm just going to be selecting the one-time payment button. Just give it a name. For instance, you can also call it excellent ebook excellent ebook or excellent cookbook sorry excellent cookbook volume 101 and then just describe it give it any description it is the best cookbook ever the best cook book ever and scroll down a little bit say i want a fixed payment on this page yes if you don't want it, you don't want, you don't want to make it an open option where people can just put any amount they want to pay. You can make it a fixed payment, select that option, then put the amount. For instance, maybe you want to sell it for uh, maybe five thousand naira. Let's say you want to sell this ebook five thousand naira. You just put it there. That's five bucks, five k bucks, and then maybe some other options. Uh, if you want to give this. Uh, this URL, a kind of custom payment, a custom, a kind of special URL, you can just uh, put it there, whatever you want it to. Uh, the, the, the root URL is going to be paystack.com forward slash pay, the forward slash whatever you want it to be. So in my case, I can just call it maybe cookbook, cookbook, if it's available, it's not available, claim the cookbook 101. So that should be available. So this will be the URL through which anybody can buy this, uh, can make payments for this ebook and have it, which is this paystack.com forward slash pay forward slash cookbook 101. And then the payment, the pages, they should be re redirected to after making the successful payment. So after the person has paid you, where do you want the person to get, where do you want the person to get the book to download from? So again, wherever it's stored on the internet just get the url from for instance it's in your google drive just get the url from your google drive and put it there so that after payments will be redirected to the, the page where the book is and download the and download it from there 
their success message they want to put anything successful anything you can just say or maybe you can just say your payments are successful anything your payment was successful and that's just it and you want to get maybe a notification to any particular email address for any payment made you can just put that email address for instance somebody pays you you want to be notified through a particular email address just put the email address there and once you are done with all that you just click, click on create it's as simple as that all right so let me just click on create now simple as that. So you can see i've already seen your payment your page has been created share your page link to start receiving payment this is the page list so i just copy the link now and again i just come to our, our website where we are creating our payment button so instead of using pay, uh, me pay, uh, maybe a uh, paper here again i can just change it to paystack or maybe another way i want to use both paper and paystack you can just uh, go to a plus again and get another payment block Call to action, payment block, and just have it there. So maybe those who want to pay in Naira will pay in Naira, and those who want to pay in dollar and pay in dollar. You know your audience, you know your your target audience, so you, you know how to, uh, the, you know the best payment method you want to use for them. So if you are targeting both uh, US and Nigeria, or maybe both the world and Nigeria, you may want to use both payment buttons. But it's only advisable to target one uh, particular set of uh, audience. So again, just change this word to whatever you want it to be. Just ch change it to your understand. So I've done that. Then click on the outside layer here like this. Okay. Sorry, just click on the outside layer like this. Then you have this option where you can now put your target URL, which is the buy button. You just copy it, then paste it there. And then click on save just the same way we did it with paper uh, button creation so it's as simple as that so that is how you create your paystack payment button all right so i hope you did enjoy um creating paystack buy button for your landing page or your website and if there's anything you do not understand if there's anything you do not understand try to uh, just put it in the comment sessions and you get the response in less than 24 hours all right and um if you have not subscribed try to subscribe and click on the notification icon so that each day a new video is released because we release new videos new digital marketing videos every day on this channel so try to subscribe so that once a new video is released you always get notified you'll be the first to get notified so thank you and i see you tomorrow